Hi and welcome to today's video and today what I'd like to do is give you a few tips about how to manage and deal with trigeminal neuralgia and this was a question which was posed to me by one of our Space to Relax members so hopefully many more of you out there will find this helpful too. For those of you who don't know trigeminal neuralgia is characterized by pain which is often very sudden sharp and stabbing which affects the whole of the face so it's pain in the trigeminal nerve and it can be quite debilitating because it can affect so many things that you do it can be caused by a number of, of brought on and exacerbated by a number of different factors namely things like brushing your teeth eating and drinking a breeze across your face touching your face, shaving, applying makeup, um, anything really that involves the stimulation of your face. And so, as you can imagine, this can actually turn into a lot more long-term and quite chronic problem if all of these things that you do with the face are triggering this pain on a constant basis. Trigeminal neuralgia is thought to be caused usually by the contact of a just a normal blood vessel at the base of the brain where the trigeminal nerve originates. And this blood vessel is somehow putting pressure on the nerve at its base there. And then this nerve, as it branches out into uh, many other areas of the face and can affect different areas of the face, then can cause you pain in all of these different areas. In terms of treatment from a Western medicine point of view, you may be prescribed medication, um, injections, or even uh, offered surgery in order to deal with this issue. And from a, an, an alternative point of view, acupuncture can be very helpful. Also Qigong, as I'll talk to you a little bit about in a moment. And um, also things like uh, craniosacral therapy, maybe chiropractic uh, treatment, or some kind of uh, nutritional therapy, vitamin, mineral supplements, for example. So what can we do about this situation in terms of Chinese medicine, Qigong and acupuncture? So firstly, what I'm gonna show you is some acupressure. So this is applying pressure with your fingers to different acupuncture points, which can help to relieve the pain. Now, often in terms of Chinese medicine, this is the stomach channel which is affected, which runs through the face. And so we can stimulate one of the stomach points in order to help alleviate the pain of trigeminal neuralgia. So this first point is called stomach seven or xia guen in Chinese pinyin. And the way in which you find this point is as follows. So just turning sideways for you now, Xia Gwen is under the cheekbone and just in front of the ear. And you'll find a little notch there um, in order to find that. Just press the finger in, you might feel the area a little bit tender. And what you can do with this point on both sides is you can just press with the index finger and hold it for maybe a couple of minutes to stimulate that point on the stomach channel. And stomach seven is often commonly combined with a second acupuncture point called gallbladder three or shangguen. And this is directly above stomach seven. If you just come over the bone there on the upper border of what's called the zygomatic arch, you'll find gallbladder three. So again, pressing for a couple of minutes onto that point. You may also decide you want to use both fingers, maybe use the, move the fingers around, find both points with the index and the middle finger to press both at the same time.
The third point I want to show you is large intestine four or hagu. And large intestine four is on the back of the hand. So if you see my hand here, what I'm going to do is just close the thumb towards the index finger. And as I turn the hand around, maybe I'll turn it this way on. I don't know if you can see there's like a mound of muscle just here. And what you want to do is find the highest point of the mound. And then what I do is I just pop my thumb on the top and my index finger underneath here. So I'm pressing, I'll open the thumb there. So I'm pressing with the thumb and the index finger into that muscle. And if you can find it, you'll know you're on the spot because it feels a little bit tender. So the one warning about using and stimulating this point is please don't do this if you're pregnant. It's contraindicated in pregnancy. So you don't need to use this point. You can just work with the other two points on the face. And again, pressing and holding or even making circles with the thumb, just circling in one direction and then in the other. But holding this point so it does feel a little bit sore. And then you can work with the other side as well holding here and you can go with the other with index finger on the top thumb underneath it doesn't matter as long as you can feel that tender point there and again just stimulating this point for a couple of minutes so those three points the two on the face and the one on the back of the hand can be really helpful in alleviating the pain albeit temporarily of trigeminal neuralgia. These points also work really well for things like headaches, facial paralysis and numbness, jaw pain, tooth pain, Bell's palsy, uh, TMJ. Um, so they can work with a lot of facial conditions and help to improve them. The second thing we can do is we can work with Qigong and just use it as a general face, use a general face massage to help us. So that's all the acupressure points. Uh, so that's three really useful acupressure points which may be able to help you. Next I want to send you to a link which is next to this video to a Qigong face massage. And this is a very general face massage which will help to stimulate and create the conditions for free and open flow of qi, of blood and a fluid throughout the whole of the face. So I would encourage you to practice this Qigong face massage for many, uh, many benefits as well as for helping with the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia. I hope you found this video useful. It's just a general few pointers. Obviously, please investigate this further if you're concerned that this is a real issue for you do go to your doctor but also seek out some acupuncture and maybe chinese herbs as well to help you with this condition if you have any questions you can email me my email is janice at space to relax.com you can also join our free book facebook group which is space to relax free qigong group and you'll find that easily on facebook just by typing in the name of the group. You can also like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you're watching this video on YouTube. And you see also I put a link next to this video of a free three-part Qigong video series, which you can have delivered to your email just by simply signing up and following the link. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.